I'm Judy Minx and I'm a French queer porn star and activist. I identify as many things. Um, I'm femme. I'm a feminist. I'm queer and I'm a sex worker. Well, obviously for me, sex work and feminism are not incompatible. Um, as I feel like, as a sex positive feminist, I believe that uh, sexual expression is not something that degrades women. I try to find um, work when, in which I'm able to be myself and, and um, do things that reflect who I am instead of uh, fitting into the roles that I, that the producers in the mainstream or an industry want me to fit in. I would say I do practice feminism in my sex work, for example, in the way that I haven't shaved my armpits one single time since I've been a porn actress, and I will refuse to do that when I'm asked. And so it creates a little bit of friction sometimes between uh, filmmakers and me. Or, um, I mean, yeah, just the fact that I don't necessarily look like um, the ideal standard of porn star beauty in the, in the mainstream porn industry. The fact that I'm very skinny sometimes makes people say or think that I am anorexic, which I'm not, and it pisses me off, because it's hard for me to deal with the fact that I'm so skinny and that I can't, I, I, it's very hard for me to put on weight, and I feel like as much as people are getting more conscious in, at least in the queer scene, about fat phobia, they shouldn't forget that um, it's not okay to say you should eat more or or you look sick. Or mm, well, I'm queer, so I don't I don't need to do specific stuff that looks very queer or sounds very queer to be queer. I think the the core of of what makes my porn work queer is the diversity of it. The fact that I, I'm transversal to mainstream porn and queer porn, the fact that I've shot with feminine partners, masculine partners, cisgendered men, trans men, um, and the fact that I have also done more BDSM work, more vanilla work. The scene that we did in uh, for Queer Porn TV with uh, Billy Castro and um, Johnny Mission um, uh, is kind of twisting the idea of non-consent because at the end I, I say that I actually wanted them to come. I've always had uh, rape fantasies and I, I don't think it's wrong to sh to do porn that depicts uh, rape fantasies. I don't think fantasies can be wrong. And I think anything that makes a woman um, wet has a place in feminist porn. I feel like um, if, if it's a fantasy that comes from you, even if it's been uh, put in you by society, patriarchy, it's still, it's still what gives you pleasure, what, I mean, you can't control desire, and if that's what works for you, then I don't see why it would be anti-feminist. When I started doing porn, everybody was worried for me that it would close doors for me. 
and it has opened so many. I've met I've met people that were my heroes before I started. Courtney Treble is one of them. I've gotten to to do art and creation in many more mediums. I've also gotten to like my body more, to feel more comfortable with nudity, with my body in general, with sex in general. I was 18. I didn't know anyone in the porn industry. I just decided to do it and I did it. That's something that also makes me proud of how bold I am and how um, independent. I am passionate about politics, very much so. I am passionate about feminism. I am passionate about um, sex worker rights. I am passionate about transgender people's rights. I am passionate about um, the Palestinian people's rights. I am pa passionate about every I'm passionate about anti-capitalism. Mm. I'm passionate about uh, uh, fighting against um, Islamophobia in France and in the and in the rest of the world. I think that porn can be activism in and of itself because it shows sexualities, and so if well, the, a lot of the problems that um, women or uh, lesbians or trans people or sexual minorities or racial minorities face um, is invisibility. And I think that pornography is a very good uh, medium for visibility because it's not on, on the level of intellect. So we can force the majority and the oppressor to be horny uh, while watching us be just the way we are and not the way they want us to be. I feel like it's not it's not um, it's not a coincidence if women's sexualities, lesbian sexualities. Um, racial minority sexualities have been depicted in such stereotypical and um, uh, toned down ways um, in mainstream porn. And I think it's because showing the way you fuck is a very, is, a, is something that forces other people to see you differently. Um, I don't even know the word in English for it. Modesty. Like the fact of not wanting yeah. some parts. Yeah. I, I don't even have this feeling ever. Some people have told me that I'm, I'm very different in the way that I carry myself when I'm naked and when I'm dressed. Like, just like I'm a total different person and I feel like I'm, I'm much more comfortable when I make it. So spitting, gagging, and choking are part of my fetishes. I, I don't know if you can explain a fetish to someone or why it's hot. I feel like a lot of human sexuality is kind of absurd. It doesn't make any sense. There's no, there's no explanation for why it's hot. I feel like, yeah, it, it's, it's kind of all of it is kind of absurd. I mean, why why is it hot to get fucked, like get penetrated by a penis? It, I don't know why it's hot, but it, it it is for some people, and it's awesome. <laughs> and then why why do I like getting spat on, or why do I like getting gagged with a hen, or why do I like getting choked. If I like it, it means it's hot for me, but I can't convey that to someone if they don't like it. Nothing is going to convince them that it's hot because it's just not for them. So watch someone else's scenes, I'm sorry. <laughs>